Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, heading out in the Stuart, the M3A3 Stuart will be, uh, you know, not much history, I'm, I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it, we're doing gameplay and tips and strategies and all that kind of stuff, that's what we're going to do in this one, rapid fire cannon, like three and a half seconds to reload, 37 millimeters I think, so... We got a lot, and it's solid shell, so boom, 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 and we're going to do as much firing as we can. We start with 70 rounds. Oh, oh, nothing. thought that would have done something, transmission or something. Anyway, all right, here we go. Boom. Okay, good start. Boom. There we go. Okay, I'll take that. So we got cover here. We got lots of side shots, and you can see the quickness of this thing. It doesn't take much. You gotta just kind of play it smart, keep moving, kind of start reversing as you're firing, because you saw that one round come through, uh, like immediately, uh, immediately. Oh, jeez, double bounce. How about a pen? There we go, there's something. Um, so that one shot, we were already backing up, so that one shot came sailing in. There we go. You can see sometimes it takes a few extra shots, but this thing reloads so fast. Why not? You know, who cares? Just go for it. Just lay those shots in there. Oh, it's already. And let's see if there's anybody up here. Nope. All right, we might have to look elsewhere in a minute. Let's see. Who's hanging out over here that we can shoot a bunch of shots at real quick? That guy. Yes. So, with uh, this gun size, you know, it, it's got the quick reload and everything, but these longer shots, generally, it, it's pretty unlikely. You might get a little bit of something, but you kind of, from this range, you need a side shot, you need to hit some ammo, you need to have something good happen. Like, maybe actually make contact in the first place. That would be a good start. Let's see. Oh, that guy's shooting at me. Okay, that does something. That'll help. And I love the reload on this thing. And we can cover ground on this map super fast. Like, we can we can move around however we want to. Right now, there's plenty of action over here, so why would we move? And we got good cover. But, you know, at some point, especially when they're all looking at us, that's, you know, kind of the time to move out of there. And it looked like there were three guys that were starting to figure out where we were, and we couldn't kill them, so it's kind of a tough deal. Because the more you stick out there in that thing, you're going to be done done and with the solid shot you know there's no explosive so you got to usually take two or three to get in there on somebody let's see what's over here i don't remember these little bullets aren't going to do much to almost anything that guy's there oh we got lots of guys over here that's exciting that guy just crashed right in front of me that's also exciting if i had a bomb that would be really exciting because i could lay some bombs right on these guys okay well, I know what we're doing when we get back in here. There's guys all over the place over here. Oh, and over here. The whole map is busy. There's stuff going on everywhere. Knife edge through the tree. Oh, not quite. A little too slow on the roll. All right. Oh, maybe we can get... Oh, no. Okay, so there's guys everywhere, basically. Or there are guys. There are guys everywhere. Not there is guys. But look at this. I'm showing up late. They don't even know I'm here. I can start with the guy farther back. Hopefully start getting some shots on him. If I shoot the guys in the front first, normally that's going to tell the guys in the back that I'm doing something. Oh, nice. Um, and then they end up getting on me. So this isn't the way I would normally like to do this, but it works. Oh, too bad. Almost got through this. Clean. There we go. Take that. Get rid of that. Oh, hey. Two kills, back to back. That's cool. That's always cool. Okay, except I got to repair and I can't move. Okay, so well, I'll hit a plane a little bit. Maybe I'll get a kill on him later. I got my guy here. I'd like to help, but I'm pretty stuck. I'm probably lucky I didn't get blown up by that whole deal. So, yeah, that'll be my lucky. That's my lucky break for the day. We all need one of those every once in a while, because you guys know how it is. Sometimes it's like. You never get a break, so I will take it, and I appreciate it 
War Thunder that you allowed me to have that lucky break right there. That was that's big. I'll I'll always remember that. I'll never forget the time that I didn't get blown up on one shot. Big day. Big day today. Alright, well, we're pretty much hosed here. They spawned us with three fighters on top of us, it looks like, so I'm gonna wiggle. And then I'm gonna try to throw these bombs out. See if I can get them there. I doubt it. I can't even see where I'm. Hopefully that'll land on me. What if I can bomb myself? I think somebody's tried that before. I think you can. All right, here we go. I can get two guys right here. Kind of out of control. Okay, well this first one's missed. Let's see if the second, third, fourth, whatever many there were. I think that was. Yep, there it is. Good. Two. Sweet. All right, so this plane's done. And we got them off of B, so that'd be cool if anybody on my team is over there by B and feels like, oh, he almost ran me. Probably could have shot him if I was, if I saw him come, uh-oh. If I saw him coming sooner, I might have been able to get a shot on him. Okay, let's see, is anybody going to B? Oh yeah, they're all over B. Sweet. Okay, so we cleared off C, we got B. Oh, this is, this game is going quite well. What is that thing? So, this is the other thing. This low tier stuff, this is, to me, this is fun. Lots of shooting. What, we started with 70. I've taken 25 at least shots yet. 26. Just keep sending them out there. I mean, it's almost like uh, like an artillery gun in a way. This thing just, you know, it's like as fast as I can drop them in there. Or a mortar deal, you know, you drop it in and it shoots out or whatever. Like, I'm rapid firing here. Every three seconds, I'm able to put something down there. Unfortunately, now there's not a lot of guys that are just sitting out in the open, which that's probably because of my incredible suppression that I've done in this game. They're all terrified to come out and show themselves. So they're all hanging. Oh, cool. They're all hanging back, you know, right? All right, that's, yeah. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take full credit for this whole game. But it's fun. The low tier, I think, I don't know. I mean, I, I know a lot of guys like those big, slow tanks and stuff like that, the high tier stuff, which I guess is cool, but, like, you can just hop in this thing and you're on your way. Boom. Like, I'm right into a game. Oh, there we go. I'm into a game here. Taking 30 shots. How many shots I taken? 32? 31? 32 shots so far. And we've been going for maybe six minutes. So, like, action. Action, like, right? It's action. Anyway, I like it. I like it. But I don't want to do it all the time at the same time. Because these ones down low, so I'm going to contradict myself now. These lower tier things, like, it gets tedious. It also gets tedious because you're playing with people like me who have no idea what they're doing, and we're just going out and shooting stuff. So that's the other problem, is you get in these games... And it's basically like a clown show because you have people like me playing the game along with you, which I can only imagine how frustrating that that would be. But at the high tier, it's probably equally frustrating because you get me in a fancy tank and I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, look at that. Cool. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in a fancy tank. And I definitely don't want to get in a helicopter. That's terrifying. Helicopters are scary. Especially in the well, I guess in real life, they're scarier, maybe, to me, but in the game, they're still equally scary, because I have no idea, ooh, that guy knew I was coming, luckily I'm super fast, uh-oh, probably want to be more in the middle there, um, oh, this could be ugly, here we go, I'll just keep doing this, here we go, and no, oh, I think I got one more guy, how many guys are in there, three? Oh, there's a guy down. Oh, well, somebody else got him for me. The helicopters, though, my God. Like, I don't have the time to spend trying to learn how to fly one of those helicopters in this game. There's too many buttons and stuff. Like, ugh, whatever. Not fun to me. And I'm not getting into this whole VR deal. I've seen that guy with his headset and all that stuff. Too much. I don't have time. I don't have time for all this stuff. So that's why low tier works out really well for me. I can just hop in. I don't have to be super smart or even a little bit smart. Um, 
and I can just play the game. So that works out pretty well. That's, that's probably part of why I like to do like uh, mid-tier and low-tier and stuff like that. Because it's fun. And then this is kind of the stuff where, yeah, that's it. Good game. Excellent. This is the kind of stuff, this is like the learning ground, you know, um, where you can pick up so much stuff. And that was kind of the original intent of my whole channel was to try to help the newer guys. And then, wow, look at that. So I guess 14 kills I participated in. Eight were mine, six assists. That's good. Um, you know, to help the new guys. And then, you know, maybe people like me that have been playing for a while but don't really know all... We don't know much. Well, I don't know much. But I'm trying to just kind of pass along every bit of, that I can. And hopefully it'll help. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Have fun. We'll see you in the next one.